Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I do apologize the uh, 1.2 update video is a little bit late I uh, waited up late for the update last night and I ended up passing out before it released at like midnight or something But I'm up fresh and I'm gonna break this update down into a few different videos Because there is so much I want to cover and some things can wait like the double XP or the bug fixes and that I'm gonna put them in a different video for now. I'm just going over all of the different map changes. I wanted to get this done quickly so that you guys could stay up to date with the need to know stuff. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're just gonna get straight into the map changes. If you do enjoy the video, like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell especially. But other than that, let's get straight into it. So before, when you landed, there were three of these supply crates. There was like one there, one there, and one there. Like pretty much every third of the way around. With the floor loot, there was also only ever this floor loot, a bit here, and a bit here. But there was some more bits around the edge. But basically they've added more floor loot sections as well. And now there are over, well, there's six supply crates when originally there were three. So when in the update they said it's increased by times two on the amount of loot that is here, they were not joking. This place has been upgraded massively, but it also has had a nerf. Now, essentially, this whole area and the house sites outside was basically a high-tier loot zone, kind of. It, you, for some reason, you'd always get high-tier loot here. Uh, you always had a high chance. Now, it's back to its nor how it, I'm guessing, how they intended it to be. It's not high-tier loot, it's just normal mid tier loot but they've added all the uh the decent like amount of loot that you'd want if you were coming through here there is a lot of loot here especially if you're someone that likes to just quickly get in grab a bunch of loot and get out but usually you'd find purple shields in here no problem they've reduced the quality of loot you'll find here but they've increased the amount where's your teammates I'm trying to do a video, guys. Would you mind not? Burn! Burn! Burn in the fire! Oi! Would you mind? I'm trying to record a video. Thank you. Oh, select fire. Yes, please. So, they said the scattered forest, or the shattered forest in the update, and they said they've put loot down in a pit. And I'm assuming that's down here, because before, there's not a single bit of loot. Hmm. Okay. I thought for sure they would have finally put some loot in here. So what tunnel did they mean? They couldn't have meant the tunnel over there, because that's got loot in already. Is it the tunnel over here? There's a tunnel under the swamp, just over here. Let's have a little check. Let's have a look at this one. Right, so I, I know my map pretty well. It's one of the first things I study in a new game. The map, all, all the map and its physics. So before, there was one supply crate in the corner at the end. Let's go inside, see what's being changed. Hmm. Oh, there's two. There's two. And some floor loot. Okay, so we got two crates in here. And a bit of floor loot. Is there anything else? No. So it seems like that's it. They've just they've added one more little uh, supply crate and a bit of floor loot. So we can go ahead and stock ourselves up. And we've got a nice bit of shield here if we need it as well. So for example, poking in and out of cover. You can't actually shoot through those gaps. This is going to help. Because before you had this side. But then if anyone flanked from this side you were screwed. So at least now you've got something else to hide behind. That's good. Right, so we are at Repulsa, as you can see. And before, you had this big strip, like this tunnel, along here. And you, you had loot all inside, as you know, but there was nothing on top. And part of the update is they've added these supply chests on top. And you can go ahead, grab yourself some loot. The Each end has one. And then as you can see here, we've got three supply crates on the centerpiece. No difference in loot chance. It's all the same. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Repulsa. Got five chests all in all. So, Thunderdome. Let's check it out, shall we? This got a major kind of update. So, over this section, you had this big raised stone area. 
and you also had a big raised stone area over there. Now people kept on like forgetting about the loot on these areas, especially that one over there. So what they've done is they've just gotten rid of the raised area altogether and added these three very clear and still some defensive supply crates. Um, the rest of the area hasn't actually been changed really at all. So you've got like the normal loot pit here, the normal loot over there, normal loot over there, and here there used to be a couple bits of floor loot on either side. They've changed these to supply crates again. It's going to make it more obvious where the loot is and add a bit of defense if you need to hide behind something. Now over here they've also added these supply crates where there used to be floor loot. Once again offering up to four different types of floor loot, a lot more than what was actually here. And then over here, as I mentioned before, you had the big raised ground area. That is now this tiny little rock. And you've got these three clean, easy to spot supply bins. But yeah, that's pretty much all the map changes at Thunderdome. Now one last map change that I did want to mention and the only reason I'm putting it in this video and not a later one is because this is actually in in the King's Canyon update section and that is added voiceover lines that will call out jump towers when you ping them. You can now ping the jump towers as you can hear. There's a jump Let's tower over there. To be honest, I absolutely love this. I used to ping jump towers all the time to let people know that we should use them and it would just go, I'm gonna go loot over here. And they would just kind of look at the map, see a dot somewhere in the middle of nowhere and be like, well, I'm not gonna go over there. So that is definitely gonna be a lot more efficient, letting people know that you want to use the jump tower and you're not just pinging some random place you wanna go to. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. I'll catch you later today. Bye YouTube. Please leave a subscribe and drop a fat like.